Hey Cards Prime, welcome back to my channel. It's Coco here with Coco DIYs. And in today's video, we are doing a shimmer wall um, setup. I ordered a shimmer wall, I believe. Um, I forgot where I ordered it. <laughs> but I'll have that information down below. Um, but I ordered the shimmer wall and um, I ordered it for a client. The client ended up um, canceling, but I you know, still have the shimmer wall in my inventory. So I wanted to do a video of how to set up the shimmer wall, how to put it together. Um, I believe I ordered a four by six foot wall. Um, either way, there are uh, 24 panels like this. And so these are like reflective uh, black panels. So it's a black shimmer wall. And um, it already comes in these like square panels. Connect these panels together and attach them to my stand. And then uh, hopefully you guys, you and I learn something along the way. Let's get started. So these panels come with uh, these connectors. So this is like a, this is a hole and this is a um, kind of a stick contraption. So, um, it didn't even come with instructions. <laughs> so, um, so we're just gonna play it by ear. Um, obviously I wanna make sure the panels are facing the same way. Um, and then I'm just gonna connect this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just connect this, basically like the his and hers together. They fit the hole and the stick fit together. And do this same thing on here. So each, so each side has a his and hers. Each side here, 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 and here have a his and hers. And so what you'll do is interlock each panel together. Um, I think since I have 24, I'm gonna do four, across, four across and six down, and then um, go from there. Shake it so it's all facing the same way. And then this end, this end, this end. Shake that a little bit. They're all turned the same way. So far is four panels and one package. So all of each set is packaged like this. And I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, eight, six. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna continue this on the floor. Cause obviously uh, this is gonna be very large. Okay, so as you can see, I got half of the shimmer wall up. Um, I had to adjust the length of the stand um, because it was a little too wide. So I had to adjust it a little bit to move it in, but um, now I'm gonna do the other half of the stand and show you guys those steps. I just wanted to make sure that I was able to get that up and then when I move on to this next step, um, it'll be a smoother transition so then that way um, you guys won't have to be like, what is she doing when I'm making all my mistakes? <laughs> okay. Um, so, but I really, really like it so far. So I'm going to, um, show you guys how to interlock it and then how I hung it up on the stand. Um, once I move the camera, I'm going to take two of these eight inch zip ties. I get the industrial ones because I feel like they're a little more sturdy. Um, and I get them from Uline, but if I find an Amazon equivalent, I will show you guys, or I'll link it down below. Um, but for the panel of four that I'm using, I'm just going to put the, put one of the cables through in the corner, right? Put one of the cables through in the corner 
and then wrap it around the um, wrap it around the pole on the stand. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna loosely pull it. Um, and then once I have both sides in, I'll um, make it a little more secure. Oh, a closer look. Okay, so this is how the zip tie is, it's kind of loose. And it's in the um, first square corner right here. So what I'm gonna do is pull this as tight as I can against the pole, right? And then push the extra stem, I'm gonna push that to the back and kind of rotate it to the back. So that way it's still, like on there and hanging loose. And then I'm just making sure that these little interlocking pieces are in front of the pole because I don't want them to behind. And then I'm gonna pull this somewhat tight, but I wanna make sure that these interlocking pieces are gonna actually interlock right here in the middle. I'll push those together and then I'll secure this a little more and then push that back. Right. Oh, and then we're just gonna go through the middle and make sure we interlock the um, the his and hers, the any and the Audi portion. So that's taken care of. And then what you want to do, um, which I did over here, is just go through and kind of look for after you interlock everything. Look for like some of the squares that are kind of like turned sideways, like this one right here, a little turned sideways. Um, so like this is not a process that you wanna speed through. You wanna make sure that all your little shimmer things are, um, are turned the right way. They're not, yeah, they're not doing that. <laughs> um, and you also wanna make sure you interlock all the pieces that are you're supposed to. So I forgot to do this part. So I'm working with one hand right now. And I think this is the last section of this. There. And then so we wanna adjust that to where that's in the front. Um, and so that's what the, um, out of the six panels, that was panel number four of the six or not out of the six panels, but out of the, the sets of four that I did, the six packages, that was um, package number four. But as you can see, there are, as this thing shakes, like some of these just kind of get a little sideways. Um, so I'm gonna continue doing this. Yeah, so I'll continue that and adding the last two panels. And then once I have the last two panels, um, we'll just add balloons just to make it look cute. If I um, get all of these to kind of face the right way, um, you will find that there may be some little tiny shimmer panels missing. And so in the package, you'll find these. Um, it looks like about 25 of these, um, which I think is really helpful because you don't see it when you first hang it up, but then once you're kind of like eyeballing, you'll see a little section like this that's missing one. And then um, with this little hole, you just put it on top of the little stick and push it, push it through, push the stick through, and then you're done. So um, let's blow up some balloons and add it, and then I think we'll be good.
Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the final product, you guys. So if you guys like this, I highly suggest getting the shimmer off. Now, if anybody would like to give me some tips on, um, I guess maybe I could do a tutorial on how to um, how to kind of darken the back or maybe attach this to like um, some pieces of wood because I really feel like, I mean, you could see straight through, you know, and it's kind of like the hedge wall and grass wall where, you know, some people use like that green, it's like a green tarp or a green backing to kind of fill in the light gaps. So I think um, I'm gonna look into some tips for that. But if you guys have any tips, let me know in the comments because I think um, it would be very useful to anyone watching this video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. Click on your screen for more tips and I'll see you guys next time.